Once upon a time there are all species of animals that live peacefully. They always looked for food and went to sleep according to the law of nature. Meanwhile, the cicadas always sang and danced regardless of time. What's happening here? My eyes. It's hurting. What just got into my eyes? So dangerous now. Let's run quickly. Else the chicken will kill us. How could all those chickens come to destroy our nests out of blue? Who bites me? Really hurt. Who bites me? Really hurt. Who bites me? Really hurt. Deadly dangerous. Who threw the stones at me? Don't chase me. Don't throw stones at me. God buffaloes are ruining our shelter. Help me, the buffalo ran on me, the gut is out of the belly already. How annoying. We're living in peace, but that freaking buffalo came to cause chaos here. We need to file the complaint to God. You stay here, I'll go to seek justice for you. Yes. Yes, it's like that. God, please find justice for us. We were living our lives happily, but out of the blue that freaking buffalo came to attack my sister, made her gut came out of her belly. All right, I'll solve this for you. But we need to call the buffalo here. Hey buffalo, are you aware of your fault now? Pardon me, God. From the beginning, I have lived a meek life and never caused trouble with anyone. And the trouble with the tadpole, it happened unintentionally. Unintentionally. You destroyed the well-being of others. And even injured them. Do you still claim that you had no intention to do so? Please judge fairly, I really had no intention for this fault. It's because there was a bale fruit fell on my back. I was deadly scared. That's why I ran and unknowingly hurt the tadpole. Bale fruit. Why did you fall on the buffalo's back? Everything was because of the squirrel. I was staying alone. A squirrel jumped on my branch. So one of my fruit fell on the buffalo's back. Why did you suddenly jump on the bale's branch? God, I was lying on a tree branch. Unexpectedly a school of ants went to attack me. It was so painful. I can't stand it. It's why I jumped on the bell tree. Caused its fruit fell like that. If you want to punish, please punish the ants. Go to call on the ant for me. Why did you bite the squirrel? Every single day we only work hard to support our lives without the desire to destroy anyone's life. We were panicked too when suddenly a wild chicken flew to damage our nest. That's why we ran to the squirrel, to wake him up. Wild chicken. Why did you go to destroy the ant's shelter? It's when I was looking for food, a deer was running and shattering some kind of seeds into my eye. I couldn't stand that pain. So I jumped without knowing that I damaged the ant's shelter. It's purely not my intention. The cause was not from me either, then I was looking for food in very quiet place. And suddenly I heard a loud voice shouting. It made me panic, and I ran all over the forest. Everything was because of the cicada. Call the cicada here. Why did you make the loud noise without knowing, the right time that made deer running all over the forest? God, it's because the sky was too sunny. So we found a proper place and quiet to sing all together for just our entertainment. For just your entertaining purpose, you already caused chaos to all the species. Your singing regardless of the proper time made trouble for everyone. From now on I punish you only be able to sing during the dry season, and you need to donate all of your guts to the tadpole. Get it? God, please forgive us. 
It deserves all, all you who were obsessed with pleasure without, without considering the right phase. From then on the cicada could only sing during the dry season. And all kinds of cicadas have no gut since, their gut had been handed over to the injured tadpole. Enjoying pleasure regardless of the right time brings misfortune to the doer later.